Hello and welcome dear students, professionals and learners to the another interesting topic on stability studies. This topic is stability studies and the storage recommendations. Mainly in this topic you will understand regarding the stability studies and based on the product stability studies and sensitivity the storage recommendations so what are the storage recommendations see in the actual use of the product in with the patients these storage conditions are very important also the storage conditions are important when the medicines are stored for a long time for a shelf life period so storage condition of the product are always based on the stability studies and also the product sensitivity storage instructions are very much required to be included on the product label then patient information leaflet that is also known as PIL and summary of the product character characteristics that is also called as the SPC. Also some significant storage instructions are required based on the product sensitivity and these instructions and the storage conditions are very much important for the products for regulatory filing and approvals so the stability studies based on the ICH these stability studies are done and the stability studies mainly evaluate the effect of environmental factors which are mainly the temperature humidity and light on the medicine over a period of time and this this stability study should indicate the shelf life or in many of the products based on the stability studies and accelerated studies the storage conditions are given so shelf life or expiry period is designed based on the stability studies and outcome of the stability studies so the shelf life or expiry period means the period in which the quality strength and the purity of the product is maintained in other words we can say that the expiry period or shelf life is the time period during which the product is safe and effective both it is safe and the effective then coming to the recommended storage conditions recommended storage conditions and the storage instructions are based on the stability study conditions and the outcome of the stability study to assure safety and efficacy throughout the shelf life and in other word it is expiry period stability and the stress conditions can identify the conditions at which the product is unstable and the degradation pathways of the product. See in stability studies mainly the effect of temperature and humidity studies studied. Then in photostability study the effect of light is studied. But only these are the factors which can affect the product performance during shelf life. No some other factors are also there and these factors are studied in the force degradation studies or stress studies so these stress studies or force degradation studies studies are important to understand the product sensitivity to the specific conditions and to identify the degradation pathways for the formal stability studies, ICH guideline is there that is ICH Q1 
that guideline gives the information on former stability studies and these are 2560 that is referred as 25 degree and 60% rh for long term condition that long term condition means long term storage condition then for intermediate storage condition it is 3065 or 3075 based on the climatic zones for hot and humid climate 30 degree celsius is considered and 40 degree celsius and 75% rh is a accelerated condition and this condition is accepted globally as an accelerated condition to study the stability of the products but see the temperature and humidity are not only the stress conditions and the the other conditions are also there which can cause the deterioration effect on to the product so if we consider those conditions then first is light it is photo if your product is photosensitive then photo stability study we indicate that photosensitivity and ichq1 b guideline is there for photo stability studies then another is sensitivity for freezing and melting for some of the products which are like emulsions or suspensions or if there is a chance of phase separation into the product those products are sensitive to the freezing and melting these studies are done with the principles of freeze thaw studies then in new studies see in new studies are the studies like the patients are using the products like they are using the multi dose container of tablets or multi dose container of the suspension and that in use conditions are mimicked in this study that's why it is called as in use studies or in use stability studies then transportation studies for some of the product transportation studies are done mainly when the product uh, is fragile or uh, uh, if you consider the tablets some tablets have brake line and they are fragile in nature sometimes that time the transportation studies are required also for some of the bilayer tablets there is a chance of layer separation so that time also transportation studies are required then short term excursions whenever the product is developed and stability is checked at specific temperature and humidity condition when the product goes into the supply chain or in the market some excursions in the temperature may happen so these excursions are mainly studied by the intermediate conditions and these are justified by the stability of the product at accelerated condition then based on the product sensitivity and the stability the specific storage recommendations are derived and these are given to the product for example in this table we have enlisted the stability of the product and storage recommendation if product is stable at 2560 3065 3075 and 4075 for example then there is no specific storage condition required to be written on the product label but still in some of the product you can find that there is a sentence like for this product no specific storage condition is required or sometimes store at cool and dry place or sometimes do not store above 30 degrees celsius to have additional precautions 
then if the product is stable at 2560 and 3065 then do not store above 30 or store below 30 it might be because that product is not studied at 40 degree or maybe unstable at 40 degree some of the products like pessaries that contain the excipients which are get which are meltable at 40 degree so for those the recommendation is do not store above 30 degree then if the product is stable at 25 and 60 then do not store above 25 degree or store below 25 degree celsius if the product is 5 degree celsius stable at 5 degree that means this condition is 2 to 8 in pharmaceutical industry it is referred at 2 to 8 condition as a long term condition if product is stable at this condition then store in a refrigerator or store and transport refrigerated so during transport also this precaution is taken and the product is transported in a refrigerated storage condition then for the products which are stable at uh, below 0 degree celsius for them store in a freezer or store and transport frozen then considering the sensitivity of the product product sensitivity first is moisture sensitivity if the product is sensitive to moisture then keep the container tightly closed store in original package to protect it from the moisture light sensitivity store in the original package protect from direct light or store in a original package so why store in a original package is required to be written because if the product is light sensitive then some precautions are taken during selecting the packaging that's why if the product is stored in original package it will be stable and any impurity generation may not be there on long term storage then low temperature sensitivity for those products do not freeze or do not refrigerate so these are the additional statements regarding the product sensitivity based on the product sensitivity and the stability conditions these storage recommendations are given to ensure correct instruction to the end users and for a pharmaceutical product the end users are patients and if the patient is hospitalized that time the end users are the healthcare providers so the recommended storage conditions are very much important when considering the product filing and approval or we may say that as a regulatory approval so in this video mainly we have talked on the storage recommendations then stability conditions and the product sensitivity based storage recommendations i hope that you might have liked this video so please like comment share and subscribe to the pharma learning in depth channel to have the utmost clarity on to various topics for this video i have referred ICH guidelines ema guideline and usfda guidelines so always keep in mind and always remember that different products have different sensitivities and different storage conditions thanks for watching this video